Like, I couldn't do half the stuff any of you guys do at uni, honestly. I, I couldn't. I couldn't even <laughs> think. Nah, it's not as bad as it sounds. Mm. I mean, I guess if you get used to it, you, you like it's, it's different. But obviously, me working, I was learning on the job, so it's like actually doing things hands on, like getting stuck into it and everything. Whereas, like, I'd, I'd have help along the way. Whereas, I think if I went to uni, it's it's literally you're by yourself. You have to do all your educate, like all your learning by yourself. And to me, that's just. That sounds like hell. <laughs> yeah, it is. I think the worst thing about, well, the best and the worst thing, I guess, depending on who you are, but the whole independent study aspect, it's... Oh, I couldn't do that. Couldn't do that at all. Because I think they say for every for every hour you spend in lectures, it's got to be two hours <laughs> on your own. And that's just ridiculous for some people. Like, if you don't have the organisation or the... I'm mean, not even that. Like, it's just difficult in general to go out and keep learning stuff without any help. But I don't know how they expect us to do it. Well, I remember I was listening to one of your other podcasts, and I can't remember who it was, but she was going on about the whole triangle dynamic of, like, um, balancing your social life with sleep and education. And mm-hmm. like, I remember seeing it, t- like, I remember seeing that on, like, um, Facebook, like, ages ago, and I never understood that, because obviously I've never been to uni. But when... Like, when you guys were chatting about that, I was just there going like, oh, that actually sounds like a real big problem. Like, how, like, I couldn't imagine trying to balance everything together, like, to get all balanced, all three balanced, but then you, you just, yeah, you have to have a social life, I feel, and you have to have sleep. But like, the education part, that, that just probably takes over both of them straight away. Yeah, in many ways, yeah. <laughs> Cause if you think about it, like they say, what one hour of lectures is two hours of private study. So if you're in uni for eight hours a day, that means you got to do sixteen hours of private study. That's twenty four hours. That's a whole day. They're basically saying to do for uni, if you like, if you follow by those standards. And they give that, they give that as a as a metric for like general success, not for like a first class or you know doing well. What? So what they're basically saying is like to do okay, like to get out of uni in, in one piece, <laughs> you need to. Work 24 hours a day. No wonder why there's so much, like, mental health, like, in unis and stuff like that. Like, it's, you're working, you're literally working yourself into the ground. Mm. That's, that's, that's bizarre. And all while doing it, you owe their money. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the one. Paying mm. nine grand a year for that. God, take me money now. <laughs> Mad man. Yeah. It's definitely, you definitely have to be a certain type of person to go to uni. And yeah, as I keep saying, I'm not that person. Mm. I know we, we talked about it a bit before I started recording anyway, but um, what was your... I guess final decision and why you decided not to go to uni and to do an apprenticeship instead. Oh, do you know there was there was loads of them, you know. And I was going on about um, I was sitting in sociology and I hated it there because it was just like so much stuff. Where you had, it was like the start of where you had to prove everything, which is partly why like, I didn't want to like that kind of put me off. But it was Miss Armstrong. She was like talking about how if she would do over, she'd do a trade. Mm. And the whole time when I was in like them classes, I was just sat there saying like, mm, I might just go away and do a trade. It's probably the best option. And ever since I was young, I've always said like, I wanted to be a plumber. Like most kids say they want to be an astronaut, a fireman, policeman. <laughs> nah, me, I want to be a plumber. And it got to the point where I was like, just saying to myself, I was like, why don't I just go and do that? Why, why am I wasting my time here? And I did a whole year at like sixth form, barely getting by. I came, what was it? My results were like three C's and a D. I, I thought, and I was so glad I left that because I was just there going like, if I couldn't have retook a year, I don't want to be there for another year. I hated it. Mm. So I think it was it, the main thing was 
it was just me personally. I didn't suit education. I was, I was, I was really good at tech. Like I like, you know, like doing like woodwork and stuff like that. I was very good with my hands. Yeah, I started yeah. noticing that in like year seven when we had to make that key ring and it just came so naturally for me. And I always enjoyed doing like that. And then it kind of just stemmed from it. It was, it was a long time coming, but you know, when you're just so focused on trying to get your grade, it all kind of like just you, you, it all blanks out a bit. I think that's the only way I can describe it. So I was just, as I was saying before, I was like just going through the motions. And I think I just got fed up and I thought, do you know what? This isn't for me. And my mum and my dad were very supportive because they were saying like, we've kind of known all along like this, this, it's not for everyone. And I, I want to make it clear like anyone, well, if anyone listens like and they're contemplating about going to uni, really like sit down and think if it's the right option for you because it's a, it's a tough decision to make and it is a, it's a, <laughs> If you choose to go to uni and you're not enjoying it, you, you're just wasting like y- your life quite literally. Yeah. And it's, it's quite, it's a scary choice as well. Cause you obviously at the time you don't know if it's going to pay off or not. But luckily for me, me leaving and doing this uh, apprenticeship, it was the best decision for my life, like in my life. Sorry. And I'll, I'll, if I go back and do it, I would have just left at the end of year 11. I would have just started it early and then I would have been better off now. But obviously I'm quite glad I went to sixth form because it just firmed my decision to do the apprenticeship later on. Mm-hmm. And I have like no like regrets at all leaving. That's crazy. Mm. I really do respect that. Um apprentices i feel like you need to be a lot more i guess mature in a sense because even me like i was looking at a lot of engineering options for apprenticeships and i'm like you know what people always say to do uni so i'm just gonna assume that they're right and just follow their path mm. like it takes a, it takes a lot to look at your teachers or your parents and be like you know what what you're saying is dumb and then kind of create your own path so i've got a lot of respect for guys like you for for taking that step and then of course for it working out yeah thanks uh, i mean like, like uh, yeah, partly what you're saying. Yeah, I agree. But I think parents kind of need to actually talk to their kids about that. Like, I bet there's so many people which, like, their parents pressure them to do stuff. And it's not what they want to do. Mm. And you just, if you're just there to please people, that's not a life you really want to be, like, kind of like going down with. And yeah. it's, it's true what you say, like, when um when I did choose to do it, it was like a very like big decision, and I had the support of everything by the teachers because I'm almost certain schools make money off us going to uni, as in like when they get into uni, because I don't know why they would force it upon every student. But um, yeah, it's yeah, it was just a very nice, it was a nice change up as well because. As you said, it's like, I became very mature very quickly, like, arguably, I'd say. Like, if, like my, par- <laughs> if my parents were in the room, they'd probably be a bit like, nah, you're still a kid. But, um, <laughs> like, when I, when I, I well, I will I'll tell you a story, actually, because um, at work, the running joke is that I'm just an old man, because everything, because I've been working with, like, people older than me, like, yeah, isn't that a weird, like, thing? Like, I work with I, my workmates, like, some of my good mates at work, they're about three times my age. Damn. And I'm just there going, like, I didn't, like, people at uni have got mates obviously the same age as them, maybe a year younger, a year older. I've got people who are, like, 60, just about to go into retirement, and I'm, I'm, I would call them good mates. And, um, yeah, it's just, I've gone off, I've lost the train of thought. What was I on about? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I'll go off a tangent, mate. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, it's just, yeah, being mature, there we go. Um, yes, yeah, it, being independent is one thing, but I think when you start working and you're paying taxes and everything like that, you start realizing like, oh, fuck, okay, this is the rest of my life now. This is like, I've, st- I've got to start acting my age 
I'm not saying that people at uni aren't acting their age, but um, it's it's one of them things where I kind of like had to grow up. Yes, yeah. I'm like I'm working, I'm paying bills, everything like that, and it's got to happen eventually. Growing up, and it just so happened I chose to do it then. Mm-hmm. It's commendable, man. Mm. I do think uni presents an opportunity for you to like to not do anything for four years, three years, because it's very much like school. It's very structured. You kind of just go in. You, I mean, in the in a simplest form, you you do the lectures, you learn, and you do the exams, and you get out. There's no real mm. maturity aspect. I mean, some people live on their own. They have to think about rent and bills and stuff. But for the most part, it's just school, but with a bit more added responsibilities. Whereas work, I can imagine, it's a completely different bubble. It's like a whole new set of mm. uh, experiences, skills. And obviously, like, you mentioned friends that are 60 years old. Like, that's, that's nuts. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's 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 a weird one. But, like, you hear their, like, like all their stories. And that's where you, you, I kind of got a lot of life lessons off of them. Because, obviously, they've lived their life. They'll tell you things what you should and shouldn't do. Like, I've got advice about buying houses, like, in put it into investments and stuff and like I'm just going like oh this is all quite like useful life lessons this mm. because um it's funny because people at work obviously like they're paying for their kids to go to uni and one this one guy Mark he cracks me up because he's very literal in what he says and <laughs> he just says I'm paying my kid to go to uni and I know for a fact all they're doing is getting pissed getting high and then not even doing that work until the last minute. <laughs> While I'm working day in, day out to pay for that, and I'm just there going, like, they best get their fucking grades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of guys out there are hurt by that statement. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just relaying the message. Don't, don't, like, hate me. But, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just, yeah, it, you hear, like, some of the, well, I mean, I've gone out on nights, like, nights out with Shane, obviously, like, he'd gone to Brunel, mm. and I, I remember, like, just chilling in his room, and I just see all the paperwork everywhere, and I'm just there going, like, oh, mate, this is just a lot of work. So, like, I'm just at home, just chilling, whereas you're probably, well, give it, like, last year, you were probably just non-stop doing work. Because, you know, you've got that fix that 24 hours in 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, I feel like, I guess it depends on your course, but in some capacity, you're not really working much harder as a student than, you know, like, for example, yourself as an apprentice. Like, the only difference is you will do your work within a fix, you know, half seven to half four, or as a student will go in, you know, for a couple hours and then continue that work at home. Mm. I think. In terms of like actual workload, I don't think it's that big a deal. But then you can probably talk to this as well, like the point of like work life balance. And when you get home, it's like putting that to the side and having to, having your own time and space, I guess, to do your own things. Yeah. And it, what you're saying is very true because obviously with me, I've got that set half seven till half four. That's work. As soon as I leave work, it's my time. Like I do whatever, whatever I want to do. But it's, it's the ability to probably, I have the, I'm, a, I'm able to just switch off. As soon as I leave work, I, I can switch off and not worry about it till half seven the next day. Whereas I feel for you guys, you are, is constantly on the back of your mind. If not, it's like all you're thinking about is like, oh shit, oh shit, I need to do this, I need to do that. Whereas I can just come home, lay in my bed and do nothing. So I, I count myself lucky for that. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty interesting um, like difference to observe because like I feel like some students, if they just worked, if they took uni as a job, and like you got in at nine o'clock or seven o'clock, whether you had a lecture then or not, and you just banged out work until four or five, I feel like a lot of people would get by a lot easier. But then you have that mentality where it's like, oh, I'm not going to go in today, I don't want to, and then you got to catch up, and suddenly it becomes way too much. Like time management is probably the biggest problem for most students, and I feel like. That whole having to manage time is really sucked out of you when you're at work and you have six hours. Mm. Yeah, I, I can only imagine because obviously I've been at work. The only, I've, I mean, I went to college 
like one day a week for three years. Mm. And that, that was fine for me. Like I was able to time manage that because it was just a little bit to do. If I was having to do it constantly as essentially, like, well, yeah, it is like a little career for you, isn't it? Like you going to uni is like, it, it can, it is a job essentially because you are non-stop working, but you're just not getting paid. <laughs> yeah. You're getting paid in knowledge, they will tell you. That's a load of bullshit. <laughs> Whoever's telling you that is just benefiting off of you going to uni. That's all I've got to say for that. <laughs> That's a big fact, man. <laughs>